I don't think that the frame will fit the amount of personality that's on the screen right now. <laughs> Truly, us being this close together, we're like all vibrating. Yeah, it is. It's about to combust. Truly. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up? I'm Julia, and we are in the Delish Kitchen Studios. This is a state-of-the-art, brand-new kitchen that's been years in the making. I'm going to be showing you around with my friends Brooke, Adriana, Justin, Jackie. Hello there. But before we show you this new state-of-the-art space, we're going to show you what we were working with before. This is the Delish editorial team layer. Layer like L-A-I-R, not L-A-Y-E-R. I want to make sure that's specific within the video. We've lived here for a long time, so long that we actually, you can see, this is our YouTube subscribers where it says 450K, which is where we used to be, and now we're over 1 million. It didn't get all colored in because this happened during COVID, so it's like it, we were here and then we were home during COVID and that's when we hit 1 million. And the one thing, do you want me to keep Hi, walking? Oh yeah, that's our producer, Mark. You guys have probably seen him a few times. Mark, He's Mark. kind of a celebrity. If you haven't seen his Girl Scout TikTok video. I've never had Girl Scout cookies before. Like and subscribe. Bye, Mark. The one thing about our offices is that the kitchen is actually 18 floors above us. So if you want to work with the kitchen team or if you want to go try something, you actually have to go out, go up, out, and then find the kitchen. What? It was from our props that we needed for something. Look, that's all my Christmas stuff. The garland. Oh, and don't forget, Christmas decor equals tequila as well. Okay, ready? Yeah. Hurry, 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 hurry. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Hello. See? We now have to go up to our kitchens. So this is a huge reason why we are moving into our new space, which we're gonna be showing you soon, is that we're just separated from each other and our teams all, our teams work together. So Chelsea's like, and all of her equipment is on the 11th floor and she has to bring it up to the 29th floor whenever she's shooting, which is a huge headache. We are now on the 29th floor, 18 floors above where we just were. So we have two different test kitchen studios that we're gonna show you because we've had them for, what, seven years? Oh God, I don't know. They have personalities to them. They have distinct characteristics. You know how like the family dog, you have one dog that kind of has a limp <laughs> and then like the other dog is like really cute but kind of runs like diagonally. Like you love them, they're part of the family but like they're, they're a little, you know. We're gonna go into the photo kitchen studio first. Hi. Justin! Hello. Now you just take over. Hi. How's oh wait, going? should we, do you want to intro yourself to that? Sure. Hi, I'm Justin. I'm an associate food producer here at Delish. I work a lot with Julia and a lot with food. <gasps> that was good. Really great. Thanks guys. Wow, I have a... <laughs> This is largely what we use for photo, and that's what we're doing here today. Taylor is and is creating a Monte Cristo, and it looks like it's going medium well at the moment. The first things first in this kitchen that's extremely important is our out of order fridge. Yes, this fridge broke maybe two years ago, and the the consensus was sort of just like, we'll get to it. So we have made do. We use a lot of props across. I'm all gonna of our go kitchens. disappear now. So now this is just prop storage. At any given time, we're gonna have like five to six people operating in 350 square feet with an 80 square feet island on which we do all of our cooking and all our photographing, leaving us with like a total of like 270 square feet, which is a very tiny amount of space. And it's yeah. all basically just like a hallway around the thing that we're working on. So it can get pretty intensive in terms of like the amount of people, the heat of ovens and storage becomes an issue as well. Not only is the space extremely crowded, um, we're being very annoying while they're, <laughs> while they're trying to actually shoot. I didn't want to say this phrase, but it feels very important that there quite literally are too many cooks in the kitchen. We are going oof, to, oof, I bad, sorry, it. I but let's go. It. All right, thank you guys. So something else that's really crazy about these two studios is as you saw, because there's so much going on, we basically don't have storage in there. So we have carts and surfaces lining this whole hallway. Chelsea doesn't like when we have big old garbage cans in the video kitchen, so we have to keep these outside. I mean, I do like that you can just leave your shoes outside the door whenever you want. And now we're going to show you our kitchen one, which is, it's confusing because we showed you kitchen two first, but just go with it. This is our video studio kitchen. This is where I spend most of my time, so I'm very well acquainted. 
We need to turn off the music because we could get issues with uh, yep. copyright, right? Oh, yeah. Can we turn that Let's music off? Let's do that off? again. <laughs> As I was talking, I was like, we can't do that. This is our video kitchen. We have to shove a ton of equipment in here because shooting video requires cameras, lights, sometimes audio equipment, and those things have stands and really bulky things that I've truly nearly tripped on and hurt myself. So we actually have 270 square feet of actual space. So if we're walking by and Alejandro is right here and then Justin's also trying to get something out of the fridge, we get really close here, really oh, quickly. Oh, that was good feeder. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's get that again in a replay. That was good acting. Oh, that was good feeder. We start off fine. At least this fridge works. Um, like the this kitchen one next door, and this fridge does okay. as well. Favorite thing oh, of this shit. whole kitchen is partially that we use cords and we have to tape them down, and they're very dangerous. I have truly almost eaten shit so many times. This is one of my favorite features. It's a microwave that doesn't open all the way until you take this off and then you have to, then you oh open it. God. And then this is being held on with a little bit of gaff tape that's pretty old. Our kitchen videos look great, but this behind the scenes stuff is really showing all the bad stuff. I know, and I think it's good for Justin, myself, you, everyone here to explain that, sure we're kind of, we're, we're shitting on these kitchens, but we love them a lot. Love and they've them. put, they've been really put through the ringer. We love her. We've, she's been here for us. I was doing the math and it's over 6,000 recipe videos, hands and pans that have been shot in this space. Yeah, it's incredible. Which it's, is, it's like genuinely wild to think about. And we've had celebrities come in here and which is kind of funny when you think about it. But Paris Hilton has literally sat right here. Like I'm surprised we don't have a little like sticky note that says like yeah, Paris. Plaque. Yeah, like yeah. Paris. <laughs> Knowing us it would be like a broken sticky note that's like kind of wet. Truly. <laughs> Let's let them sit though. Oh. <laughs> Wrong. These pullouts, while in theory work really well for storage, the minute that we have someone like Charlie shooting right here, I can't access any of these and I need ingredients from all of these and it just makes it a nightmare work in this kitchen. And I also have to like avoid hitting my head if I wanna operate at all through this kitchen. Bye. Okay, we are now going to go over to the new kitchen now that you've seen the old kitchen. As you can see, space was tight. That's kind of like an understatement. Also, yes, I don't have blonde hair anymore. I know that it was like your biggest question. The biggest thing for me is that we used to be 18 floors apart. And as someone who worked at a desk but also was in the studio spaces, it was very frustrating to be able to just like collaborate. So for me now, my desk is like right over here. And then my like work office studio space is right over here. So from 18 floors apart to like, if I take very long strides, it's 18 steps apart. Do you want me to show? Yeah, go. Okay. If I do really long strides, it really is only 18 steps. I promise you. Like that's how close we are. You want me to keep going? <laughs> Before I even get to the test kitchen, which is honestly really cool, I have to show you these new murals because we used to have a sprinkle wall, which I used to sit right in front of and just the cacophony of colors really, you know, could give you some migraine issues. But this new mural is very cute, very adorable. And we also have this one here, which is kind of, it feels like an optical illusion when you walk down it, but it says good food, good mood. And I like all the ouds all together. It's very cute. That's all, just wanted to say that mural part. Okay, now we can go. Bye bye. All right, you ready for the big part? You're supposed to say yes. yes. Yeah, you have to say yes. 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 I have two very special hosts to show you around the kitchen. Adriana, Brooke. <laughs> we were so excited to do this. Why? It's a porthole. Okay. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Hi. Hello. There we go. They're going to be showing you around. I am going to leave you guys. You're in good hands. Goodbye. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Brooke. And I'm Adriana. And this is our new home. And we're so excited to show you guys everything we've got going on in here. Also, Adriana, this is our first time meeting. You're in New York. I came all the way from Orlando just to see the new kitchen and to show you guys, too. All right, Brooke, what is going on in here? Show me everything. Absolutely. This is our event space, which is this long, lovely table and all these colorful chairs. Fun fact, if you have a little dirty hands, you can pull the chair out by the back right here. 
so you don't get the chair dirty, because these chairs are very nice. They are, I would always want the teal chair. <laughs> I claim this chair. I really like this space, and I also love that there's a giant TV. Yes, I love the giant TV. I don't know whose recipe this is, but it looks really delicious, I don't just know, maybe saying. Maybe you should try it. Make oh. it right now. Yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> We do have a lot of meetings here too, so the TV makes it so that we can see what's coming up for the week, look at photos in great detail, or just look at all the colleagues that are working from home so their faces are nice and huge on the screen. I don't I don't ever want to be on that screen. It's very like upsetting. in a conference hall. <laughs> everybody's sitting here and I'm just on Zoom. I've been the one on that screen before. It's very unnerving. Okay, so speaking of events, we have this amazing Mobile Island, we use it for demos, we can use it for a cocktail demo, for a cooking demo, if somebody just wants a podium to talk to the rest of us. It's like a little party island and I love it. I am requesting that feta dip and a cocktail right now. Yeah, I'm so prepared. I'm so prepared for that. <laughs> Make it happen. 100%. <laughs> All right, so the event space is great, but I need to know what is happening behind us. Walk me through the actual test kitchen. Happily. I want to know about these pots. I, lo I love the Le Creuset, and they're so pretty. I picked this one because it matches my outfit. Very <laughs> true to me to want one that matches my outfit. But you guys have so many like colorful pots and we pans. Do. Walk me through some of the delicious, yummy things you can make. <laughs> I feel like you're about to take that with you, and that's fine. I know, I'm just gonna go home with it. No, um, this is so nice. No, that's totally okay. This isn't being recorded, it's fine. <laughs> This is honestly one of my favorite parts of the kitchen because it's so decorative and I could never get my house to look like this. But we actually do use these pots. Sometimes we use them for photo shoots, but occasionally we actually use them to cook in. We all love a Le Creuset, we love a style pot. So we have them on display here, but it's actually functional also, which I do adore about a well-run kitchen. There is 50 million drawers. Yes. <laughs> and you already kind of alluded to there's like a tracking system or something. Yes. Tell me all about it. Okay, so my engineer brain loves organization. So this honestly made me so happy when I realized that we were gonna have a system like this. Each drawer in here, each drawer, each shelf has a number and every number corresponds to a digital database that we have that will tell you what is supposed to go in that specific drawer that corresponds to that number. And I adore that so much. You can literally just type in like, spatula and it'll be like girl spatula is in drawer 22. So then you're like not running around the kitchen looking for a cheese grater when you need You're not grater. running around the kitchen looking okay. for a cheese grater you're not looking for anything because your steps count so much especially when you're in a big space like this so you really want to be able to maximize the time. I love going in people's cabinets. Oh oh these <laughs> that's, are refrigerators. Oh that's not a cabinet. It's not a cabinet it's a refrigerator. This is the most giant refrigerator I have ever seen. They're so life. very big. This is our fruit and veggie fridge and also there's some herbs in there. And this is our dairy and egg fridge and condiments. And then, ooh, 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 <laughs> spices. All sorts of dried chilies, our dried mushrooms, our big ass bottle of peppercorns and our small ass bag of peppercorns. How much peppercorn do you need? Oh, we'll use that. We'll go through that. <laughs> We'll go through that no problem. But even more exciting than that cabinet, I wanna show you this cabinet. <gasps> Dun -dun -dun. Oh, it's like a table of elements. It's a like table a of spices. You get it. Oh my gosh, cloak. We'll probably never go through that. <laughs> I wanna talk about this gas range right here. It's a Heston gas range, which is so very fancy and it absolutely cranks. It gets so hot, but in a good way. Is this a giant oven? Yeah. Ooh. And on another note about function, this kitchen has outlets on top of the island, which if you have a big appliance, like a stand mixer or a blender or something, you need an outlet, you have one right here. It's magic. It's so fancy. <laughs> Another thing that I love about this kitchen is the light. We have all these windows. We have a whole wall of windows, which no might really not seem significant because I know you didn't see our other kitchen space, but we didn't have a single window in that space. It was literally kind of like a dungeon, like a fun, like a fungeon, a fun dungeon. A fun dungeon. I just love that you have a city view. Like I've only been to New York a couple of times, so I feel like I'm getting the New York experience, like looking at Manhattan, being in this kitchen, like it doesn't, it, Feel it feels like right. You, yeah. So if you thought all oh, this was awesome, let me show you my real favorite part. Ooh. It is the belly of the beast. It is the peak of organization. It is the back of house. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> the organization here is top tier. 
Everything is labeled. All the handles are facing out so they're easy to grab. Just like the little stuff like that that really makes working in a space like this so much easier. Also, there's snacks. There's so many snacks. There's lady fingers. There's Nilla wafers. There's mini Oreos. I know, I feel like I'm in a candy store with the tiny, Ooh. tiny marshmallow bits. I don't even know what we're about to use those for. Like but... Lucky Charms, but only the charms. <laughs> Only the charms. <laughs> They're so cool. <laughs> we have our well-organized dry goods, but we also have even more refrigeration space. I know we have our two fridges out there, but we have yet another fridge here and a fridge here. And this one is a freezer. Oh, also. Did that one just open on its own? It just popped open, yeah. If you tap it in the right spot, it'll pop open. <gasps> oh, technology! <laughs> So I know I keep saying that things are awesome, but I want to show you the thing that I really think you'll love the most, mm. and that's the bar. Ah, you know me so well. I do. Is this the bar? This is the bar. <laughs> the whole thing was outfitted by thebar.com. As you can see, this is called the Ram Zammer, which is kind of an inside joke. It's named after our director of content operations, Lindsay Ramsey. And I can't wait to turn up here. Everything looks so good. You have a lot of different spirits in alcohol. What's your favorite alcohol? Ah, uh, it changes. Honestly, I was a whiskey girl in a past life. I think I'm becoming a rum girl. Ooh. I think I'm becoming a rum girl, but I'm always a crown royal girl. Let's be real. Because we are in this beautiful bar space, it looks amazing. We have a lovely crown royal bottle there. Maybe we should do a little shot I to think... like celebrate the opening of this kitchen set. This is the first shot taken at this bar. Is this the first shot taken at this bar? Yeah. Wow, we are christening it. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Those no, that's smooth. I don't even know why I did that's that. Smooth. Can't do that take again. <laughs> <Not at all>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after every shoot, uh, once we wrap, I stay at the bar, so let's stay right here. <laughs> That's so fine with me. Um, we're gonna stay here, and then we're gonna kick it off to Justin and Jackie to show you guys the rest of the space. Bye! <laughs> Wait, let me get another one. <laughs> Just joking. No, we're not joking. <laughs> Hello there. What's up? Los Angeles in the house. Ooh. Jackie's here. Hey. We were just in LA together, but now we're here in New York crushing in our brand new Gorge studio. I'm so excited Truly to show you stunning. how much this place has improved my life. You look like you've lost some stress. So you know, you look like you're lighter and happier. I'd say that that's true. Yeah. I'd say that that's true. It might also just be because I cut my hair, oh, but we... other than that. Okay, fair. But we're gonna start with possibly my favorite part Ooh. of the entire redesign. Okay. It's truly saved hours off of my day. Okay. No joke. I want to see it. Let's do it. All right, let's go. I feel like this is MTV Cribs. Wow. I want to say like, this is where the magic happens. Okay. Literally, because these lights turn on as whoa, you walk whoa, around whoa. them. That's so fancy. It is the fanciest. Need I remind you, our prop storage before, as you guys saw, was a literal broken fridge with things that were so precariously placed. Now it's all color coded, yeah. size coded. It's very organized. Legitimately, it does save me multiple tens of minutes a day when I need to grab stuff that I know exactly where it's gonna be. Yeah. It's just grab and go. No, this is great. All of these things are all different colors, all different sizes. The control yeah, freak in me also loves that everything like this is pink red orange and yellow dishware like we get specific just in case you didn't know what kitchens. color they were it's like oh yeah, yeah these are the pink and yellow ones right over here we have okay. every single type of glass you could ever oh, imagine I know. I'm telling you it's really cool we have all the different utensils this is my favorite prop out of all I the love props. her Look, why she's beautiful she's cute I, like I weirdly I end up using this so much for pouring syrup on things I'm thinking about what I can take back to Los Angeles with me without anything just do it yeah just do it when no like, one's in the like, room maybe I wanna... <laughs> so... just yeah slide it back pocket perfect. nobody has to know this is studio one Woo! you might recognize it because we actually shot the first season of grocery showdown yeah in there. it's really nice in here it's very squeaky clean it's very clean it feels like it actually hasn't been used at all yeah i like it this is like a movable island that can be used oh, all the all, things it's like truly Wait, like look at gorge this. stuff i know there's so much room for everything look I, at this you can run we, we can have, dance 
up. Honestly, it's just like everything you need in a kitchen to film. Are you okay? Sorry, okay, I, just, I just get really more <laughs> space. I, my kitchen's so tiny, so the fact that I can just move around you and not hit you. Well, also just this in, is great. in really just remembering how little space we had before. before just yeah. like truly we were shooting in like a space that was like this big, but now we have yeah, all of this room. so many room for activities. And we got like super suited up with all this like really gorgeous stuff like mm -hmm. this. Cooktop is literally brand spanking new from GE. It connects to the internet. I'm sorry, I come again? I still can't really What does that even brand. mean? What does that mean? Like literally you can clock in not to just like low, medium, high. You can say the exact temperature that you want to put Oh, the uh, pan off. We're so fancy. I know, we are fancy. Look at that. In addition to this, we have not one, but two ovens, a very fancy smancy microwave that does like convection mm. as well. A really nice fridge with like, this is what I wanted my whole life growing up. Oh. The little ice and water yes. dispenser. I feel very fancy when I'm using it. Truly. I don't know, it's just truly all the things that you need mm -hmm. in a kitchen is here and then some. I'd say this is like our cool, not in like, oh, the whole kitchen is cool, but like this is yeah. our cool tone studio. Okay. And now we're heading into like the warm studio, which is studio two. Let's go. Honestly, another favorite part of all the studios is we feel like we're in a real studio. Don't come in here. Filming. Come right. in here. Come in here. Yeah. It's perfect. Don't come in here. Okay, this kitchen is beautiful. Truly, if I had all the money in the world, this is exactly what my kitchen would look like uh -huh. if I if I was rich. <laughs> I mean, that's the goal. Truly. That's the goal. Truly, but no, I love I love the browns. I love how you can see everything mm. here. It's so nice. It is. I just get to have the fantasy. I want it. I know. I every day I come into work and I have the just fantasy that this here. is the, the fantasy that this is my kitchen. We could pretend. Yeah, absolutely. that's what I Not that it's yours, do. but that it's mine. Um and in here we have a gas range that is mm -hmm. Absolutely gorgeous. So we get to know the differences, the intricacies of both. We have a lot of really gorgeous, like this, like terrazzo countertops. Wow, and nice. you know the name of it and everything. I'm bougie. Yeah, I might not have the money to be bougie, but I am bougie. You would think that each of these drawers like doesn't have something in it that's all for show, but truly mm -hmm. everything is utilized to like the utmost. Like you oh, just yeah, reach yeah. in, you grab your tool, you grab your whisk. There's scales, everything that you could need at like a wrist. We had a full organizer come in. Mm -hmm. Like we were fully like the home edit in here. Like truly, I felt like a Kardashian. I love it. And then you have all your good cook utensils yeah, and things dude. here. I love them. They're they're very clean. I like this one because it's a machete, but it's actually very good for scraping yeah. out of bowls. They're really, really helpful. Also, what is a good kitchen without like the perfect way to play music? So Apple has outfitted us in each of our kitchens with a beautiful little home pod. We can just say, hey Siri, play my kitchen jams and it'll come on. What's your go-to song that you jam to when you're cooking? Um, it really gets you going. Happy birthday. What? <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Everything's a celebration in my kitchen, baby. Okay, <laughs> so just on a loop. On a loop, happy Ro birthday. Royalty free, happy birthday. Great. I can't wait to cook with you and listen to that song on repeat. Fun. Can you believe we have one more studio to show you? We have a third kitchen. A third kitchen. We went from having two <laughs> test kitchen studio hybrids that yeah. were this big to four enormous spaces that are very healthy. So many choices. What is the vibe of this kitchen? This then? last one is where we shoot a lot of photo. It's okay. less for like, like here we're shooting like face. Got this it. is giving personality mm. as you can see. This next one's a little bit more utilitarian, but still very gorgeous. Okay. Wow. Yeah. This is the biggest kitchen. Well, maybe not the biggest, but it's the longest. Yeah. <laughs> you can do a whole like fettuccine pasta on this and we could set do the world those, record. We could do like one of those disgusting table charcuterie boards where you just do it directly on the counter or like, have you seen those TikToks no, where they do like disgusting, pasta? No, not disgusting, amazing. <laughs> <gasps> That's what we should do. We shoot all like the gorgeous covers of our magazines, mm -hmm. but also just like any dish that goes up on our website with a recipe gets shot in this kitchen. On a given day, there's like six to seven recipes and it can truly be like snickerdoodles and gumbo and like kale salad and like nachos that are made of cheese themselves. It gets nuts in here. I truly. mean, with all this counter space, you should be able to shoot all of those things all at yeah, once. Exactly. Truly. And also just have me sneak in and literally wait to the minute they get the last shot I'm going to. You're the first it. one getting the first 100%. bite. 100%.
So you saw the test kitchen, the bar, all the studios. What was your favorite room? What's the room you want to take back to your oh, house? Oh, I mean, studio number two. That mm -hmm. kitchen is mine. I already I agree. claimed it. It's Jackie's Kitchen, so <laughs> Truly that's my favorite. Rip off the studio number and just put Jackie's, Jackie's kitchen. kitchen on it. Yeah, Fair enough. yeah, it's my it's my new home. Thank you all for watching, seeing this brand new space come to life. And we can't wait to show you guys what we're gonna be cooking up. Oh, we have to use that pun. <laughs> Fun. Isn't that fun cooking up? Yeah. Well, we like physically are going to be cooking oh, things in here. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you guys on another day in another kitchen for another adventure. Bye! Yeah. I wish I had a catchphrase. Done. Goodbye. Goodbye? Yes. Bye, bye, bye. What did you say?